I'd say there was a little slight damage there. Hey, Carlos, how you doing, bud? Hey gearheads and welcome on back in to F122 My Team Career Mode. I'm Alan Bailey. We are in season number one of Bailey Auto Sports. Um, a little past the halfway point actually. Um, we're okay. Like you can see right here, we're we're uh, you know behind Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, and technically behind McLaren, but. Here, as you can see, we do have a minor durability and two massive aero upgrades coming our way. It's been our weakest department by far. Uh, and by the end of this race, uh, well, after this race, I should say, we, we should have a really good little car underneath us. Um, one that is tied for second on the vehicle performance, uh, which will be as high as we will be um, ever. So, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Give you an update on the points here as you can see uh mr sean leclerc and ferrari leading the way right now uh carlos and verstappen are going to start scrapping here for second but i mean it's it's clearly charles is uh title to lose here um george russell is our second driver he's sixth on the grid right now uh we're seventh i mean we've we've had some good races man we've been knocking on the door of our first victory but we still haven't done it bunch of seconds bunch of thirds we're we're right there man it's just you know we need to put it all together and we've had mechanical issues we've had on track issues we've had all kinds of stuff hold us back but we're right there ferrari leading constructors red bull and uh, mercedes and us and we want to beat mclaren in the constructors that's the goal we're doing it right now we do not have enough time to catch mercedes i don't think anyway unless they really 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 drop the ball here and with oscar piatri as their second driver they could but um not anytime soon i don't think so i don't know i mean we're gonna see what happens here but we're gonna go ahead and uh advance some time here sponsor stuff Oh, department doing departmenty things. Could you take a look at this for us, please? Our engine supplier has asked if one of our drivers would make a guest appearance at their brand new flagship car room show in Dubai. Russell was scheduled to appear at a charity event at that same week. What should we tell them? Um, to climb. Thanks for stepping in and helping handle that. I mean, I I hate losing the money, but you know, at the end of the day. We got to make sure our team is prestige and, and all that stuff. So eh, it is what it is. But uh, Italian Grand Prix, let's go gearheads. We're back in Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. And what a great race is in store for us today. Here at the oldest circuit on the calendar, which hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Bailey, Lando Norris and Hamilton, Russell, Perez, Fernando Alonso and Oscar Piastri, Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, Valtteri Bottas and Ocon, Magnussen, Vettel, Alex Albon and Lance Stroll, Gasly, Sonoda, Joe and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson, a lot of talented drivers out on the track today, but what will stand out for you? My focus is 100% on the front of the grid. Like you said, we're seeing a lot of strong competition across those positions, so it'd be super interesting to see the fight for that front spot. Personally speaking, I'm hoping for plenty of overtakes. Okay, this is our engine supplies home Grand Prix, so let's give them a race worth watching. Yeah, so 
that that adds a little extra pressure to us, but what really adds pressure to us is this. Rain. She a coming. She a coming right at the very end. We should be seeing some Wayne. Uh, 13 and a half on the field for the 13 laps, just in case. A little, little extra, a little extra. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I think with about 10-ish mm, to go, 9-ish to, uh, no, excuse me, about the three, four laps to go, give or take. Uh, we should be seeing Wayne, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, I don't know. Um, yeah, so this should be interesting. I'm decent in the rain, but, like, uh, uh. Hold on. Let's see what we got. All right, gearheads. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Oh, decent little start for us. I okay, feel the, the damage. Incurred some slight damage, but nothing yeah. too serious at the moment. Just be careful. I'd say there was a little slight damage there. Hey, Carlos, how you doing, bud? Hi, you doing, Mr. Science? Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe there's a little bit more wing damage than I think. Because, yeah, she's, she's got a little plow to her. Carlos has some, too. So, Leclerc's going to go away. But that's okay. Rain's going to be a great equalizer here at the very end. Maybe, maybe, maybe Minot. Oh, maybe. Yipes. Ha, 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 ha. Wow. How did we hold that? Never mind. Here he comes. Hold it. Yep, we're good. We're good. Elbows up. We're good. Yeah, good for Charles. No, Lewis. No, Lewis. Uh. <laughs> okay, clear. Am I? Sorry, Carlos and I, we got a score to settle. It's gone personal. It's gone dark side now. Okay. Mr. Science, what the heck was that? That did more damage to him than us, it looks like. I mean, it did damage to us, to be clear, but... Uh... Yeah. Charles just busting out fast lap after fast lap after fast lap. I mean, I think if it weren't for the damage, we green right there. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths a lap. And that, we're, I think we're catching him. Not by a whole lot, mind you, but I mean... Uh, actually, we're losing ground to Leclerc just ever so slightly, but... I think if it wasn't for the damage, we might be at least hanging with him, if not catching him. Because we're pulling away from Hamilton. Then again, I think, no, no pit stop for him. Ah, fastest lap, you kidding me? Cool! I'll dig it, i dig it! Leclerc just ducked down to pit road. We inherit the lead. Teammates in the pits. Okay, George is coming in for his stop. Rain is supposedly a lap or two away, maybe three. I don't know. We're waiting, but we stayed out because we didn't want to pit and give up that time only to come back in in two laps to put on intermediates, I'm assuming. There's a raindrop. That's the first raindrop. That's the second one. Whoa. This gamble might have just started to pay off for us. Come on, rain dance, rain dance. Come on. 
All right, here we uh, here we come. It's raining. Lap nine to thirteen. There we go. All righty, give me those inners. And uh, Leclerc is going to be staying out. We should be losing. Oh, cool. I see inners. Appreciate that, boys. Ooh, okay, Norris is not. The line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Okay, George is coming in for his stop. Lando is not happy. We might have just stolen with pit track because Lando's gonna be ducking down here in a sec, or he should anyway. Hi, Lando. Boy, ain't that just uh, a pretty picture right there. Y'all, we played this strat perfectly. We have put on two sets of tires, two different compounds. And we got the fast lap too. So there's a chance that'll hold out. I don't see how these inners are going to be faster than the softies. The going to keep getting heavier for the next 15 minutes at least. We play the tire strat. We play the weather strat. I feel like the AI should have been able to predict this, but they didn't. So, okay. Stupid AI. Going to be stupid AI. So Leclerc is about seven and a half-ish. Behind us, and everybody else is still on, still right, pitting. Got enough fuel for three more laps. That's fine. Tons of fuel. Tons of fun. Hey, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Yeah, so Captain, we got four seconds up on him. Thirty point one seconds. So we got four seconds. I'm gonna leave it all on the racetrack. He's gonna get close. I can see him back there. I can see him back there. So we just got to be smart here. We can still screw this up. I mean, to recap the career, it was a rough start, man. Like all the careers are. But halfway through the season, we, we, tear, we tore through half the season. The game went on us. And we had to hang it up for multiple months didn't think it was coming back and then one day I decided well you know we're gonna try it and it worked no questions asked we just went ahead and went with it and then we sign uh, the Mercedes driver mr. Russell away from Mercedes to be our second driver and I'm gonna overshoot this badly I only got two seconds to play with here Bunch of seconds, bunch of thirds. We've been grinding to try to make this car better. We qualified fourth, and we didn't struggle, but we got some damage at the start, which made this thing sucko. But guess what? None of that matters. Bailey Autosport is a Grand Prix winner in Formula E. Yeah! Anyone want to go again? <laughs> Formula One winner in our engine manufacturers. And Fernando gets the driver of the day. Really, guys? Come on. They made great use of the clear air today and didn't allow anyone to exploit the slipstream behind them. What a great win here at Monza. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Rain always has the potential to liven up a race and mix up the order, and they've taken full advantage of that to claim the victory today. It's always a bit of a lottery when the conditions are like this, but they've managed to stay on circuit and have come out on top. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all.
We are home. And we will be back here very soon. Thanks, guys. There we is, doing us the stuff, which is awesome, which is great. Love it. Uh, but uh, the teammate, you know, dropping a couple spots, finishing ninth is Sucko. He was a two-stopper. We were the only one who did the one-stop, man. We were the only one, but we hauled off LeClaire, uh, who was Coleman. Another lap, he would have passed us, for sure. I was just being very conservative. I didn't want to spin out or do anything, and we don't reset, so it's it's a thing. So, yeah, but Verstappen, uh, Alonzo, good for him, though, sincerely. That's pretty cool. He he clearly took advantage somehow uh, because that's a, that's a pretty big bump up for the Alpine. I'm just saying. Uh, Red Bull made, made up some ground. Lando lost some ground. Lewis lost some ground. Daniel did actually benefit from that, so that's annoying that McLaren uh, scored, you know, double points. That's that's annoying. And we scored double points, but not as many as we could have. Russell, we got to get him some training. We got to get him up to par. Well, the car up to par, too, for that matter. Um, but you could see Carlos getting in barely. But Asuka didn't get none. That actually does help our Mercedes uh, pursuit a little bit there. Um, and then the back of the pack, so, oh, go on you, but, buddy, what you doing back there? Come on. It's all good, though, but, yeah, let's take a look at these, uh, standings real quick. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Leclerc leading his team, leading the Red Bull now, Verstappen by 84. Uh, Sainz loses out some points, so he drops a little bit right there. And, I mean, we're still two-something out, but we just made up a boatload of points. We're in the 100 range, which is pretty cool. Um, that's exciting. Um, and now I've I've actually contributed almost half of the points to our organization this season. But let's go ahead and check out these constructors real quick. I mean, I do not see us catching Mercedes. But we have more days like this the rest of the season, maybe? I mean, you got one Mercedes who's arguably probably not going to be getting points every week, and the other one who is going to be finishing around 5th, 6th, 7th, somewhere around there every week. So, like, I don't know. If our teammate gets it together and he, he rattles off a couple podiums here and we rattle off a couple podiums, we could make something happen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But how darn cool is it that we got our first win? Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button so that you come on back for the next one. We will be doing F123 on the channel when it drops, when it comes out. You want to mash that subscribe button so that you see those videos first before anybody else. We are doing the Breaking Point 2 career thing separately, and we're doing our My Team. We're going to have a good time with it. I'm excited. Uh, make sure that you mash that subscribe button. Come on back. It's going to be a great time for F122 My Team Career Mode. I'm Alan Bailey. We will see you out at the track. Bye, gearheads.